All right, so welcome back DIY car guys and car girls. Today we've got a couple of things to take care of. This is more gonna be a talking day, but it's also very important. Let me show you what I got right over here. So here we have Noah's intake. This is the same one in the last video, which we drilled out to work with the LT1 bolt pattern on the heads. Now there's a one key thing about this. When these bolts go in, they go in like this. So as the bolt goes down, if you look right here, they're gonna be more like this and you need a shim to correct this. So let's first talk about what we're gonna do, where we're gonna go to get the shims for this guy to work. So if you look right here on my Gen 2 LT1, these are the shims. You can see it has, I forget the exact angle on this, but it pretty much puts the angle correct for the LT1, just these little shim washers right here. So you get a shim, then you get a regular washer, put your bolt in there, you know it has some weird angle, so it's just kind of halfway on there. It has a good clamping area, and that's what you want for these guys. You don't want some rigged stuff going on there. This is kind of technically rigged, but it's rigged in a good way that it's not gonna mess up. And the second part of this puzzle, we got to figure out, uh, this is a EFI, if you saw my last video, like, you, like I said before, this is a EFI intake. It may look like it has a carburetor flange on here, but it is going to use a throttle body for EFI. So it won't be a, will not be a carburetor up here. This is going to be the injectors, and he is going to run a dry nitrous setup. But here is the little monkey wrench that got thrown into all this. He already had this guy right here from a, another intake that he bought. So he doesn't want to spend more, any more money, which I completely understand. I think we can get this to work. But look at this. Bottom section is for a 4150. And then it funnels up to a 4500 Dominator style um, throttle body, which he has a throttle body and he has this. But here is the kicker. Now, you can put a dominator spray plate on top here right because the injectors are going to be doing all the enrichment we're not worrying about spraying fuel in here it's just going to be nitrous but this funneling down could potentially cause a problem for distribution maybe maybe not not sure but uh, we were talking to uh, Induction Solutions and a couple other guys, and I don't think they're seeing what we're talking about here because they said, oh, just put you know, a plate here, then put this on top, and then put your um, throttle body up here. I don't like that because there's a, it's gonna, air is going to come down. Of course, it's going to be just air coming down. It's not worrying about fuel because our injectors are going to be uh, supplying all distribution. But I just don't like anything you know, in between this for air to hit and maybe cause some turbulence and some weird shit going on in the in the plenum because there's already gonna be so much um, turbulence in here and I don't want anything else being in here, neither does he. So there's two different style um, spray um, plates that we can get for this. One will be the Zex, which is a perimeter. So this, this is all open and it sprays this way, this way, this way, this way. And we're not gonna be using any of the fuel portion on it. Like I said before, the injectors are going to be supplying the enrichment. So that would spray the nitrous with the Zex one. And there's also another one. It's a stinger. It's made for a dominator with a large plenum. And it goes down about, you know, this far. So it should go past this and spray directly into the runner. So those are the two styles that we are thinking about to run with this that should work. I'm gonna bother Joe today and see what he thinks also. And then we're gonna to go to Fastenal because I got those shims from Fastenal, but Fastenal has changed a lot lately. You can't just walk in there and look at shit no more. They have to go back there and get it and they make you buy a whole bunch. So we're gonna to go to Fastenal, first look for the shims, then I'm gonna bother Joe and see what he thinks about this. And that's what we're doing today. A lot of talking, but it's gonna be interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead and load up and hit the road. Okay, so the intake is loaded up with the uh, burst plate slash adapter. Also, that thing right there has a no gas, so I have to get gas for it. On the road again, I just can't wait to get on the road again. Gonna go to Joe Simpson shopping, bother him, my friend. 
I just can't wait to get on the road again. Yeah. T-shirt hustlers. All right, we are here at the Fasten It All, which lately they don't care about the small guys. They only care about big contracts. So as you see, you can no longer go back there. You have to wait for them to help you in Fasten All. So Fasten All doesn't even do walk-ins anymore. You can't even walk in there and order it. You have to either go online and pick it up or something like that. So fast and all is pretty much useless if you're just a DIY guy. They only cater to big accounts and corporations now. So useless. Off we go to Joe Simpson shop. Here we go. It's right over here. And he's not here. He is not here. All right, so while I wait for Joe to get to his shop, I'm going to tractor supply. I gotta pick up something to uh, repair on one of my larger cameras. We'll talk more about that inside. So, what be the best? Gorilla super glue, at least something that works on rubber and plastic. Bonds, metal. Wood, ceramic, rubber, leather, paper, and more. I don't see plastic. Oh, plastic. First thing. All right. All right, Gorilla. Don't let me down. All right. So we got Gorilla Glue. And uh, this is for one of my better cameras because the little rubber grip is coming off. And it's coming off probably because I'm always working on my car, touching with oil. I got oil on a thousand dollar camera. And you know what? I'm not doing that no more because I've just now figured out that no one on DIY car stuff gives a crap about video quality. So maybe if I just don't, I give less Fs about my video quality and just put out, dump out content like the algorithm wants you to do, maybe my channel will grow. So that's what we're going to do. Open. So let's uh, pull in here and see what's going on. Let me back up. Oh, oh. There we go. There we go. There we go. Boop. We're here. So we're at Joe Simpson shop. And uh, he said, nitrous, he's the wrong person to ask. <laughs> he's a turbo guy. But he did agree that uh, not having anything down there would make more sense to him too and having it at the top and the bottom. So that answers that. So now I get to go home and uh, figure this out some more. All right, so back at the house, wife is out of town. So of course the intake is on the ground. I've already done a little bit of porting to it, but the consensus for the nitrous plate that we're gonna use is gonna be the Stinger. The one that has the uh, drop base that go past throttle body, um, actually a throttle body adapter. So here it's the throttle body adapter. I had to go grab it. So it'll extend past this and spray directly into the runner. So that is the plan. So our next video, or whenever I get down, down to doing it, it's gonna be porting this guy. So if you look down or right here, let me get a flashlight real quick. Flashlight. We have a good bit of cleanup to do on these runners. Now I've already hit this section right here just on the floor of the plenum, right? So in my next video, we're gonna completely port this guy. Hey girl, how you doing? You doing okay? Wanna get on the camera on YouTube? Of course you do. She's uh, thinking how we're gonna fix this. And we got a port match it, port it all out. Every single portion of this will be hit. And we also need to port, oh, let's get this right real quick. Port the top of this intake to match this adapter. 
So that's next. Okay, so after reviewing that footage, I realized just how incredibly dirty the floor of the kitchen was. The wife will appreciate that. If you have dogs, come here, Ginger. Yes, if you have dogs, uh, they just get everything filthy. You can't have nice things. Anyways, keep on wrenching, guys, and peace.